Hello friends, it's F. Koshaw here today again. Uh, today we'll be playing through Lustrous Lungan Palace. Yeah, that's it. Just to see, just to get a look of, of what the map is like. After this, I'll do another video on a random breakout. Yeah, let's start. I'm pretty excited. I haven't played it yet. Bizarre like she Kevin. <sighs> I love the, the theme the the music theme for this level though. It's like the same as um the theme for Daichi's trail map, I said more, it has more of a jaunty tune to it, you know? More of an excited tune, if you get what I mean. Oh, looks like there's some switches here. There's a lot of bad jellies here. Maybe I should have taken another treasure? You know what, never mind. I really like that. There's no monsters below, you know, it's like sharks circling around. It really gives off that ominous feeling. There's no babies, I mean, tiny monster babies down here though. They're just quietly falling from the cavern ceiling. <laughs> oh, it's cute. They're on little cages just falling down. It's like monstering. Oh. <sighs> this is amazing. I love the, the art here. There's a lot of rainbow bear jellies here. I think I should have really used the rainbow bear cake treasure. Since it will give me more points here. But eh, whatever. I love this music. It's like you're going to a boss battle or something. And those pillars. So nice. I'm not sure if you have heard of Sunokong. But like, the design of those pillars remind me of his... Um, of his spare thing, his pole. So basically Sun Wukong was this kind of monkey god kind of guy. Long story short, he had this uh, infinitely long pole which he could make into whatever size he wanted. Uh, he stole that pole from some underwater dragon's palace. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm getting a lot of this wrong but... <laughs> Let's see. I wanna see what are the maps here. Bizarre Lychee Cavern, Solemn Longan Palace Gates, Lithering Snake Chambers, Longan Palace, Eye of the Storm, Flaming Dragon's Valley, Thundering Pineapple Isle, and Stormy Lotus Lake, as well as Dragon Eye Perch. Very good, very good. Okay. I don't have snake fruit cookie maxed out yet, so I'll just use a different cookie. It shouldn't matter too much. In with her camera, let's use Crowberry for now. Wow, this is this music is so dramatic. <laughs> Love it.
And we gave the feeling of this like past, you know, this fast paced battle adventure. You know, you're about going to. Ooh, those are scrolls. Kind of like the scrolls in the uh, Fragrant Lotus Paradise. Except these Eve yellow things, like corn, you know. Reminds me of corn. Um, eyes. I wonder if Lungang Cookie can really see the future. I mean, there's been a lot of imagery about eyes and whatnot so far. I really love it though. This music, it's, it's really dynamic and it gives you that feeling that something exciting is going to happen. And the stage is also very well thought out, I think. Oops. I missed that. Because you're constantly heading upwards. So you're like, traveling up the stairs to some sort of... Um, Boss tower. Oh, yeah. Right now I should be. Wonder whose eyes do so. Ha! There's little snakes down the bottom. But they've got their eggs stuck over their heads. <sighs> so cute. I wonder if Snake Fruit Cookie would also look like that when he were, when they were younger. Probably. I imagine he must be a very adorable kid. <laughs> Alright, one, two, there we go. I really like this music. It gives us a very ethereal feeling. I, I know I've said this so many times over, but uh, I really love the music, okay? Um. I'm not sure what to use here. Lychee, I guess. Let's try Lychee. She's one of the few um, cookies I have that both are pet and... That both are pet and the cookie itself is maxed out. I did it because she's a legendary, you know? I mean, she's been dominating the meta so far. She's gonna be here for a very long time to come. I really don't have much to say about Lechi. The only thing is that I wish that maybe we could have a little bit of her dragon form come out during her skill. Since she's quite different from all the other dragons here. Like cause during her skill only the monster at the bottom, the spider thing comes out. And we don't actually get a peek at what um, Lechi dragon's true form is. She's okay, fits into her character in the story so far, but I don't know, man. I'm still pretty curious. It's flying snakes. They look like little clouds, you know. I only have my treasure at legend. I only have my legendary treasure at level seven. So far. I mean, I don't have enough diamonds for the kind of 
one ton spending, so. Like, because it's in a steady tempo, you know? Compared to the music the last stage, this one is more... Ominous, to the extent. The one before was like, building up. Oh. I, Longan Palace, Eye of the Storm. Trees getting electrocuted by lightning glow. What's up with that? They're blue. Oh, is it fire? These things will have a lot of blue glows around them. Oh Jesus, the song. It's like machines, you know. A battle army of whatever that is coming out to fight in a steady stream. Shame. I want to listen to the map music more. But because the cookie school has its own theme, so I can actually do it. I wish the game actually had an option for that though. I absolutely love the music on the on these maps, you know. One, two, yeah. Let's use cauliflower. I'm not too big of a fan of HP related pets because if you don't max them out, basically you have no chance to use the cookies last ability. Not great. This music feels too happy. <gasps> oh. What's that? It looks like a, s a snake. A stingray kind of thing. Reminiscent of a... Yeah, it's reminiscent of an eel, if I think. It can shoot electrified beams out of its mouth. Very cool. And now, it's just having up power. I wonder if this thing's mechanical or an actual biological beam. It's shooting out little beams of I've no idea what that is. Black holes? Oops. Ah oh, whatever. Seems the lustrous Longan Palace is floating at the very least. I wonder if it's in a different dimension or something. Oh, 
course right now we are just running on floating platforms. Is it me or is it bigger? Has it become bigger? Oh, we're heading to the next stage. Ah, I missed. If I'm not wrong, this should be Pitaya's palace before the fire and everything. Is it even a palace? I don't know. Who builds these things? I haven't seen all of these. Decorations before assets, backgrounds. I don't know. I think it really shows how much effort they put into this update. I really love it. If I see out of all the dragons. Um, Lotus Dragon is my favorite. I like his design and I like his character the most. It also helps a lot that his um, trial theme is really, really beautiful. It's a very ethereal, calming sort of scene, you know? And it's also very distinct from all the other dragons. It's a very, he gives off a very classy. Polish vibe, you know, like a very classy villain. <laughs> I mean, the one thing I like about the dragon story so far is that the dragons themselves aren't inherently evil. It's just that, well, because they are, because we are all like cookies or humans, you know, we can't understand their morality. There's no point in judging them to be right or wrong, because they're literally not the same species at all. It's like say, maybe a human and an ant to give an analogy. always been a human surrounded by ants. Oh! Oh! Oh, I love this! I remember seeing this in the preview video. Update preview video. It's so cool! Okay, Pitaya holding Lotus Dragon. Best of friends. Hehe. <laughs> Pine Dragon. just looks totally destroyed man. it's kind of sad So I'm not sure if you've heard about it, but like there was this cookie villain testing by Cookie Yearn, 
So basically you just answer like 12 questions and then they give you um, a random cookie and they tell you like what personality wait no what, what villain your personality fits yeah I call the chorus the clumsy clumsy one I'm not sure what to feel I'm not sure how to feel about that. Alright, for this one. Um. Let's use. Surprisingly enough, we apparently used the power of Pitaya to go through this stage. Although it's technically Ananas Palace or region that he's supposed to take care of. If I had to be honest, the updates recently have been pretty meh, you know? That's why I really like this update so far. Mm, I like Tough Cookie Club, honestly. It's creative, it's nice, it's interesting. Except for the fact that you can only play it like every 8 hours or so. It's kind of RNG, RNG based, but it's too good. I'm pretty surprised they made Team Fight a permanent game mode though. If I was not wrong, there were a lot, a lot of problems with Team Fight. Like, firstly, you know, after you get to a certain rank, like Legend, everybody just uses the same combis. And if you're low level and you don't have enough diamonds to use the max boost, for all your teammates then your team will almost surely lose you know and I remember also seeing there were a lot of oh pita yes here Oh, I like it. He's moving the rocks out of the way for us. <laughs> yeah, my favorite stage, Storm Lotus. Eh, what's with that? Good. Hey man, give me back my blueberry cherries. Don't run away. These are the guards from last time, they're trying to fight off the eye monsters. <gasps> Hi Junjia! Oh no. What? Oh no. Were not these rhinosaurus things once part of the Lotus Palace stage? They've been taken over by the iron monsters. Oh, we could take a closer look at them later.
I really like the theme music to stage though. It's like some sort of ethereal music. Ah, yeah, see, this is the original theme. But I think they added a few minor keys in. To make it sound like it's been wild. I wonder what happened then though. Because it looks like these um rhinosaurus things <laughs> have been trying their best to get rid of the little eye monsters in them. I assume those are like parasites, you know. They infect the body of the host, which is the rhinoceros, rhinoceros beetle. And then they use them to attack all the other members of the Lotus Palace. Which is pretty insidious if you ask me. Oh, look at the bottom of the stage. Yeah, like little boats. I really like um Ananaskyo though. Look at that, it's so powerful. It just takes them and smashes them to the ground. It must really hurt them. <gasps> oh no, the two lovers from last time. They turned into stone. Even the HP bottle they give is smaller. If you don't know, um, in the last breakout episode, Fragrant Lotus Paradise, um, these two levels appeared in one section of the Lotus Palace. But it gave you a very big HP potion when they hug. And also, um, I think she was pretty obvious they didn't turn into stone. Oh, and these things too! Oh my god. These fish things. They're all yellow now. Yeah, the eye things are like parasites. Look at them. Like dangling lotus flowers in front of them. Completely taken them over. Jeez. If I had to argue who's a truly evil one here. Oh, they're using Pitayas. Anyway, oops, if you didn't know, uh, those fish things used to be blue and green in colour. But now they've become yellow. I really like the mixing up of I really like the mixing up of um Oh look at this dragon <gasps> My boy Look at him <laughs> He's so cute My boy! Oh my god, I love it. I love his skill. He's so pretty. <sighs> wow. Those are like little guards. Not little guards, but. You get what I mean? They disappear and appear.
Wow. It seems that we have returned to the... Oops. It seems we have returned to the original theme music, which is which was in the map at the beginning. If I'm not wrong. None of the dragons are actually bad. It's just that they're not able to be understood, you know? Amoral. Personally, I find it really funny though. It's like, you have these nice happy little updates about saying a pizza delivery cookie and a doctor cookie and then they're all interspersed with this Oh my god, they're all gonna die He's trying to take over the world, help Sort of Updates, you know Like, wow The change is enough to give it good blush, I swear. One moment it's about fashion contest. Next moment, everybody's gonna die. Medusa is here, everybody's turning to stone. All your families and friends have been taken over by parasites, blood sucking monsters, and be turned into violent creatures that attack. All of your old friends and everybody else they see. <laughs> oh my god. This is very hard. Oh my god. Oh, look at that, there's a, a wizard kind of guy over there. Turn into a bird. Yeah, it looks like the last stage of this map is really hard. It's very hard to keep precise jumps like that, and I'm very bad at those. Seems that so far we've seen two different bosses, if that's what you can call them. The spare wielding one and the wizard one from just now. I mean the eye monsters. Well there's no much to say about them. They're just there. They are they don't bode well for anybody. <laughs> Actually I should use turbo engine. Alright, let's do this. I used candlelight cookie for last run because his points are decently high, you know. He's been in Mecca for a very long time. 
At least compared to other cookies. This one just has a gigantic destruction beam of who knows whatever that is. <sighs> yeah, it's a good idea to get a shield. The bones here. Pitaya should be lotus next. What is this I'm doing? Surprised that lychee is in here. Mm -hmm. Actually, this to be ex expected. Also, in the last story chapter, the, she had this plan and everything. I mean, it seems like out of all the dragons, she's the most antagonistic one. If you exclude the long gun, of course. Since she's the troublemaker, so I mean, yeah, I know. The dragons are non-binary, whatever. It's it's hard to break bad habits, okay? Seems after this, that's just a repeat of the whole stage again. This is cool. This is like the random breakout mode. And screw. Alright. Changing difficulty resets your score. You don't receive rewards for scores obtained prior to changing the difficulty. Okay. So note here if you want to try both the both modes um just make sure you do the one that like gives less rewards first which is easy mode if you're just gonna try out all right well i guess i'm done here for today um thank you for watching friends and goodbye